And we're back, and welcome to our latest merch haul vlog from our April trip, 2023, over to Disney World for Easter. Did a lot of cool stuff on this trip. Got to Flower and Garden, got to ride Tron, and we have a lot of stuff to show that we brought back from the trip that we were very excited about. So why don't we get into it? Alright. Um, I think the first thing we'll start with is, we showed this in the vlog, but um, we got a... Uh, reusable refillable mug from All Star Movies. So they have these at all the resorts. Um, when you purchase them, I think they last up to two weeks. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's where you can get like your coffee, tea, you know, uh, soda, fountain drinks um, throughout your stay that you can refill at the resort. Um, so if you're going to be there for a while, I think it's a good deal. Um, this one was for the 100th. 100th anniversary um so it has all the characters on there um we haven't gotten one of these in a while but mike actually uses them a lot every day i think from some of our past trips um they used to be included with the dining package yeah we typically don't get them because they've been the same offerings but this is the 100 specific so we figured yeah. might as well get it i think it was 19.99 I think so, and like i mean really all we got was powerade in it like twice maybe three times but we wanted it as the collectible yeah. it was a short trip i think if we were there longer we would have uh, you know used them more if we had like a resort stay um or like designated resort day stays where mm -hmm. we would just hung out by the pool but um i still like it and yeah. I, it's something we use at home um so this we also showed this was um from my margarita that i got at one of the booths at the flower and garden festival um so this hat was you know a little souvenir glass that we got or cup um it is plastic but um it has the name of the booth on there it's a little bit hard to see i think because it's clear but you know it's something a cute little souvenir to take home after having had the drink yeah and we like that it says epcot on there oh, yeah, and it, it says flower and garden festival so Nice little collectible for us. We have some from other things that we've purchased, other beverages, so yeah. add that to the collection. Um, these two we got from the Contemporary after we participated in a in trivia outside of one of the gift shops in the Contemporary. It was yeah. just, they have a board. Um, and the questions were based on the movie Cinderella. It was 10 questions yeah. about Cinderella, and there was a cast member. We, we didn't even know that she was there at first, but I was basically asking Jill the questions, and she was reeling off the answers. Yeah. And it's funny how I got a pin, too, because I didn't do anything. Trivia queen Jill, and Jill trivia answered the king. questions, so she said, oh, you get a gift. Yeah, so she's like, prize. do you want a prize? And we were like, yes, we do. So mm. we, I, we actually wore them around um, for a little bit, so that was fun. Yeah. Um, so I believe we also showed this in the vlog. We purchased him at one of the booths, and it came with an orange smoothie. Yep, orange smoothie. It was $15 for this with the smoothie. And, uh, yeah, we have... And this is what he looked like last year. Oh, yeah, okay. Look how different he looks. Yeah. <laughs> well, not completely, but... Um, he does, his head's a little bit bigger on this one. So I'm guessing but. this is going to be something at each festival, yeah. each flower garden. We did show it on the vlogs, but it does say... So he's holding the original one from, like, the 70s, and it does say Walt Disney World on there. So this is something that we're going to get year after year, I'm sure. And now he has a friend to hang out with on the shelf. Yeah. And then um, you also saw these in the vlog, but I've purchased these at the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, they are my orange bird ears. Um, so he's kind of like a mascot for this festival and for, Ep I believe for like Epcot in general, he's displayed a lot. Orange bird. I feel like, I feel like uh, Magic Kingdom, you see him yeah, too. Yeah, Magic Kingdom uh, too. Aloha Isle. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. Um, but I don't have any orange bird ears, um, and I th thought these were really cute. He's on both both sides of the ears, um, and then there's a sequin bow there in the middle. On the side, it says orange vibes, and the back is just kind of plain with some flowers. Um, but so I got these. 
Um, what were they, like $34.99 probably? Yep, these were $34.99. We'll get added into this collection of yours <laughs> yeah. behind my head. Some of them I still, again, haven't worn yet, but Very we're nice. getting there, we're getting there. Very nice. So we got the trash can that is uh, for the Flower Garden Festival. And we do have one from the Food and Wine Festival, but um, we were happy. It's, it's actually a salt and pepper. It's a, probably a salt shaker. Um, I think they do this because a lot of people use the trash cans as like dining tables. areas or tables because there's a lot of good stuff to eat and there's not necessarily always an open table. So out of this, and it is dated 2023. So add this to the collection. This is $12.99. Um, we got this, we got the ears in the Odyssey building. They had a lot of the festival merchandise in there. Um, so this is something else we got at the festival, same thing in the Odyssey. It is a Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2023 pass holder pin. Um, and it has figment on it, um, and he's doing some gardening. Alright, so there's the pin, and if you look there is a hidden Mickey here. Um, sorry, it's going out of focus now. Um, but there is a hidden Mickey you can see in the cactus. Um, but yep, we got this as well at the Odyssey um, pass holder pin. Uh, this was $17.99 for the pin. And by the way, uh, pretty much pass holder discount on everything, 20% off, except for Orange Bird Sipper because it was a beverage item. So, right. And the <laughs> Cristal Margarita. Uh, you know, with the souvenir glass that Jill got. Right, yeah, that was just from the booth. So we rode Tron, um, and we bought two things as kind of like souvenirs and to remember our first Tron ride. Um, so the first, one of the first things we got was the light cycle color changing cast vehicle. Um, so we try to buy as much as we can, like the ride vehicles of different rides. So. Um, we have several different different things and different transportation. Yeah, we're gonna have um, to have a display area shelf just of yeah, that. Just like we that. have the Remy ride vehicle, Guardians ride vehicle. We have a monorail. Uh, so we just like yeah. oh no, this is kind of our thing. And this was like the smallest thing that kind of represented what the ride looks like or what the ride vehicle looks like. So it probably won't come out of the box, but yeah, I assume we'll just kind of leave it in there. Yeah, but this is what it looks like. Um, it does say it's color changing, so I guess if you put the batteries in or took it out, you know, the, it would light up blue. But that's kind of what the ride vehicle looks like. This was $19.99. Okay, very good. And this is in that new new store. They renamed it. Um, the exit of Space Mountain, basically, uh, yeah. is now called the Launch Depot. And this is where we got all of the Tron merchandise. We also got these. Uh, we got this uh, Tron pin. And this is a pass holder exclusive pin, and I like that it's basically like the opening day pin. It doesn't have the date on or anything on there. Um, it says Tron Light Cycle Run, The Great Goes Live 2023, and it says Tomorrowland and Magic Kingdom. And on the back, I believe that is another 2023. So we wanted to get something to commemorate that we rode a brand new attraction, especially in its opening week, which was really cool. I mean, they had been doing the pass holder previews for a while, and people have been on it for like a month at this point. Yeah, but it but was grand opening had just happened that week when we were there. And the pin was seventeen ninety nine. And you mentioned it didn't have the date on there. I don't think any of the merch for Tron had like the specific opening date on there. I, I believe even from like other vlogs we've watched, they it all just said twenty twenty three. It didn't have the actual specific opening date. Yeah, even the shirts mm -hmm. said uh I think it just said kind of the same thing the grid goes live. Yeah. So. Which is cool. Yeah. So we went down um, during April and we happened to go down there and we were there for Easter Sunday. Um, so I wanted to commemorate that being there for Easter. So we were able to find a Walt Disney World Easter 2023 pin with Mickey holding an egg and the castle in the background. I don't even remember buying this. There's Mickey holding an egg and it's dyed like Mickey. Um, and then it says Easter 2023 on there. So I just really like this and it, um, you know, to commemorate our trip and that we were there for Easter.
And this was 1999. 1999. It was one of those ones behind the counter. You had to ask for it, yeah. and they had to hand it. This wasn't available with all the other pins. Yeah. Very nice. Easter 2023. And the the castle is showing that it's rose gold and the darker blue. I did notice that. And yeah. It's not like back to the original like it was. So it is still painted like it was for the 50th. So. Yeah. Um. So we do collect some some plushes. We do have. Um, different plushes throughout and my favorite Mickey is Sorcerer Mickey and I've been wanting a Sorcerer Mickey plush so we've got one um, it's just the small version and uh, we picked him up at All Star Movies when we were there um, but I just think he's so cute I love Sorcerer Mickey are you looking for the price yeah $24.99 um, and I've just been really wanting him. The last couple of trips I thought about getting him and I didn't. Um, and I don't think they hopefully won't ever take him away, but you just never know. So I wanted to get him and here he is back at home with us. And you could get him pretty much at any of the parks, but we got him at All Star Movies mm -hmm. in the gift shop, which is fitting because he is at the main pool uh, oh, yeah. shooting the water out. And, you know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. And of course, featured in. Fantasmic, so also featured in Mickey's Phil for Magic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So a couple of things there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We also got another plush to add to our other type of plush collection. We did. So we had seen someone walk by with this particular character on their shoulder, and we we're like, yeah, we gotta find that now. So. And so we did. And it's Chuby yep. from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway from the ride. Um, so, yep, so this is a, a shoulder plush. So there is the magnet in there. You can wear them on your shoulder. Um, and we do have a couple of these. I think they're just really sweet, really cute. That, you know, something little that you could collect, a little plush. Uh, but I do like seeing people wear them around. It is pretty fun. And it's interesting. Uh, I believe we've been paying $19.99 for these and they're $21.99 now. So we got one on the last trip, yeah. like a month ago, and so that happened in between trips that the price went up. That's what happens when things become popular. But we'll continue to buy them because they had an Abu that we yeah. had our eye on and, and then we saw him and we're like, all right, let's get him. Let's get Chewy. Yep. So this next set of merchandise is pretty much going to be focused on Mike. So what do you want to start with? We went in pretty heavy with the clothing. Uh, let's start with the hoodie. I showed this in the vlog, and the past couple times we've stayed at the All Star Resorts, I've eyed this up. I just like it. I just, I just really like it. I like collecting stuff from the resorts as well. And this is an All Star uh, Resorts hoodie, and it says it on the hood as well. It was fifty nine ninety nine, but well worth it. It'll get a lot of good use. Oops, there we go. And it's a zip up. I like zip up hoodies as well. It does have the pockets. So I just had to have it. And it's a very comfortable hoodie too. So that's my. Worth it. That was my big, big purchase because I don't think fifty nine ninety nine is that, that bad. But. Not for Disney. Not for Disney. But I really like the. I like the All Star Resorts and I like that hoodie. So just had to add it to the collection. You can see I'm wearing my Norway, <laughs> Norway shirt. I didn't, I didn't get any T-shirts from around the world showcase this trip, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'll show you my my big purchase for this trip. Yeah. Uh, I I did wear this in the vlog, so you might have already seen it. But e Easter night was a little chilly, so she had to cut the tags off and wear this one. Came in handy. I believe it was sixty nine ninety nine. I'm not 100% sure because yeah. it sounds about right. Yeah. Um, but this is a Disney Vacation Club spirit jersey. Um, it is actually a little bit uh, lighter than some of the other spirit jerseys. I do have two other ones um, and it's definitely lighter than those, um, which was nice though. Um, it, on the front it just has Mickey there and it says um, a vacation of adventure. Um, and then it's like a coral type color. And on the back says Disney Vacation Club member um, and established 1991. Um, so this was my big purchase. I got this at the Polynesian um, and I've already worn it. I plan to wear it 
many, 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 many more times. Yeah, I like um, that. So it was very nice. It kept me cool or it kept me warm, um, but it's not as like stiff as the other spirit yeah, jerseys. Yeah, some of the spirit jerseys are really heavy. Yeah, heavy and stiff. Yeah, but uh, this is a really nice purchase. I'm sorry. That's okay, Siri. Siri just apologized <laughs> for some reason. So here's another one I've had my eye on for the past couple trips, and I said, you know what, if I don't get it this time, it's gonna be, go they're not gonna offer it anymore. Baseline Tap House. <laughs> what an awesome t-shirt. And we did visit this place when we were there at Hollywood Studios on this trip. And even cooler, it says Hollywood Studios on the sleeve. How cool is that? Um, this one, and I just love their their feel of their t-shirts. They're so light and soft. Uh, $39.99, but again, I like that it says Baseline Tap House and it says Hollywood Studios on the sleeve. So add that to my collection of park specific t-shirts. Love this one. Uh, so Disney has their vault collection as well and they're, they're showcasing some of the uh, t-shirts that they had available for the 20th anniversary uh, at Disney World. Uh, 25th, like they had a birthday cake castle shirt I really liked. Um, can't find that one anymore, but I love this one. <laughs> Go figure, another Sorcerer Mickey. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it has the 25th. So this was an item that was probably very popular 25 years ago when uh, they were going through that celebration. Great shirt, had to have it. Actually got this one in Epcot, uh, $39.99 for the shirt. But again, you can't pass up a Sorcerer Mickey. I, I think it's still popular now because everyone's into like vintage. Mm -hmm. um, I, obviously, it's a new T-shirt, but what's printed on there is is vintage. So Very confusing a... for a lot of people. Yeah. Considering the castle had the fifty on it, now there's the hundredth, but then they're seeing stuff that says twenty-five and even twenty. So unless you know all that, you're gonna be really confused. Confused. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. This, these next items um, are kind of couple matching shirts. Um, so we each got one yeah. from, show you at the same time. I'll show the front, you show the back. Okay. We, no, let's show, let's, let's do the matching thing. Okay. Yeah. We picked these up when we were at the Polynesian and we both got Trader Sam shirts. Yeah. Yay. Flip it around. Woo. Trader Sam's Grog. Grog Grotto. Yeah, that's a great shirt. Tongue twister. <laughs> we've, been, we've been looking for Trader Sam yeah. shirts for a while. They had a lot of these, them. actually. Yeah. Um, $34.99, but we each liked it so much. We probably we each got one. Yeah, we didn't want to have to share one, so we each got one. So why not? And it kind of has that like worn, washed type look, which I really like. Um, and it's just a really cool shirt. I'm really excited to go back to the Polynesian and wear it. It's a nice shirt. Yeah. And the last item, yep. Epcot was doing 40% off uh, most of their 40th anniversary merch. And you can't pass up a good deal. And I love me some Epcot merch. It's got the 40 on there and it's got 40 years of imagination on the back and even figments on there. And what was cool about this is it was 40% off. So the price tag was it was twenty nine ninety nine. Was it? Yeah, I just saw it. Okay. Honestly. So it's twenty nine ninety nine. So you got 40% off and then they would take the 20% off for the annual pass of the balance. Yeah. So I think it was like $18 or something. Nah, it, it was like 14 or 15 I really? think. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Plus I love the blue. It's right. Very cool. I love all the Epcot logos on the back. So it was kind of no brainer. It was really cheap too. So yeah, I really like it. I guess they're trying to get rid of that stuff to make room for more merch. <laughs> yeah. And I will gladly buy it. So all in all, went pretty heavy in on the clothing, but yeah. it's it's the most practical for us. We get a lot of good use out of shirts. I and know I do. It's just easier with like flying and we only had carry-ons that, um, you know, we got a couple other things that were like oddly shaped or whatever, but you know, it, it's just easier to pack. Yeah. So there you have it. That is all the merchandise that we got on this most recent trip. And 
you know, we can't wait to go on the next trip and add more. We like doing the merch uh, haul vlogs. We know we like watching other people when they show what they buy on a trip, so that's why we do these things. Um, but also to provide anyone watching with prices so that you can see uh, what the actual cost is of certain things that we get. So the next trip will be coming up soon enough. Uh, we look forward to that one. That's going to be our cruise uh, on the wish and a little bit of Polynesian uh, post -cru cruise. So that's going to be an exciting trip for us. So you'll have to wait and uh, stay tuned for that one. But that's our haul vlog for April 2023. We'll see you on the next one. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.